टाइप्स ऑफ फोबिया सम आर अफ्रेड ऑफ लिजर्ड सम आर अफ्रेड ऑफ हाइट्स राइट दैट फियर ऑफ हाइट्स विल बी लाइक यू हैव फोबिया ऑफ हाइट्स है ना सो फोबिया ऑफ मैथ्स फोबिया मीन्स यू आर अफ्रेड ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड हाउ टू ओवरकम दैट राइट सो दिस यू ऑल नो दैट यस देर आर सम स्टूडेंट्स हु आर अफ्रेड ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड देर आर सम स्टूडेंट्स हु जस्ट लव मैथमेटिक्स right so why there are these two different opinions for the same subject so the main logic over there is that every student has a different pace of learning every student has a different uh, special uh, say every every student has a different uh, special thing in them right everyone has their own set of strength everyone has their own set of uh, say areas of improvement so some students might not be uh, that good at maths and then and that's fine provided you realize the importance that no maths in your life is important and there is no such skill where you cannot work upon it right you are your like your mind works towards some things quickly your mind work towards something slowly but it does not mean that you cannot overcome that you cannot make your mind you cannot train your mind to be better at something hai na you can train your mind for anything whatever you want you can train your mind to be better at it so there are some people who are very hard working and they train their mind to be better at whatever they are thinking so this math phobia since you are you may be a slow learner in it or maybe you had uh, the the past concepts of maths since as you know in maths all the concepts are very much related so maybe for some reason your past concepts of the previous grades you have not studied in detail and because of that you are not able to cope up with what you are studying new so all these things can contribute towards the phobia of maths right so how do you overcome this how do you overcome this so always do what you are afraid of hai uh, na always do what you are afraid to do so this is the lines by american philosopher ralph waldo emerson and that's a really good thing like to overcome your fear the best way to overcome your fear is to do it is to face it so if you have maths phobia let's face maths right so first of all facing maths starts with acknowledging the phobia understanding that yes okay you are afraid of mathematics right now and this is the reality which you should understand no need to tell everyone oh i am afraid of maths i am afraid of maths no you 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 realize this thing that i am not liking the subject i am scoring less in subjects and acknowledge it that okay this is the problem so once you acknowledge the problem then you start focusing on the solutions but when you don't even acknowledge acknowledge the problem you are feeling like ki nahi 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 it is a one time thing or i'll do something else maybe this time next time or uh, i did work really hard luck is not in my favor these are all excuses right so first start acknowledging that okay i am not that good at maths and once you've acknowledged the problem or acknowledge the phobia now you can work towards it so it is like preparing your preparing your minds for the solution right then be positive be positive means what never to tell to yourself that no i am stupid i am not uh, good at maths just say i can improve i can always improve you are afraid of maths because you have not scored well in the past but there is always a scope of improvement always theek okay? hai so as i told you guys just train your mind for being better and you can train your mind for any skill you want right so that is what we need to do and find out the root cause now once you have acknowledged the problem you need to think that what is the issue why you are not good at maths why you are uh, or why you are being afraid of maths because 
you can be better once you practice but you need to know what is the issue maybe you require more time maybe you require more examples to solve so that you can feel more confident maybe um, past concepts you are not good with the past concepts so all these are different things maybe your teacher was not that enthusiastic who taught you in this way so these can be root causes and now think ahead of those root causes and start practicing no matter what over what uh, problems there were you can always start working on it right so make sure that you focus towards solving maths spend some time with the subject very important very important it is very important to spend time with maths you know uh, otherwise the subject is not that kind of subject where one day before the exam you'll learn it and it will be gone no not not possible you have to spend time with the subject also ask questions whenever you are uh, say solving a question and you start feeling like yaar nahi yaar i'm not able to solve it ask it to someone ask for help right theek hai and start with the simple uh, topics uh, easy questions then go for the medium questions difficult questions the lengthier questions break it into small parts understand the thinking process think of maths as puzzle subject these are all puzzles think of each question as a puzzle and see how that puzzle can be solved so that way you will find maths more interesting think of each and every question as a puzzle then practice maths daily it is a subject which requires lot of your time attention is required from this and so you have to practice daily also apply what you are learning in the real life as well so for example you are studying surface area and volume now you can observe the shapes nearby and think what will be the surface area what is the volume how can you calculate it so different ways you can think uh, expressions polynomial uh, if you are thinking so just think that how polynomials factors you are getting factors multiplication you are doing zeros how they are getting so algebra is like when in physics you know the real life uh, connection of algebra because in physics you make equations right to solve the real life problem so there algebra is used so in maths we are more sticking towards say the solving algebraic polynomial algebra polynomials so there you can understand make a concept in your mind flow charts in your mind what does each and everything mean how do you proceed quadratic equation splitting the middle term method all these things you need to understand make yourself understand and apply them okay so these are some of the tips guys which will be helping you and uh, um try this all right and yes spend time with maths guys with practice and uh, determination you can train your mind to do anything all right also for any other help you can go ahead and uh, uh, the link for registration to vedantus pro subscription is given in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment gpe pro is your code uh, and this will get you the discount right so if you'll see over here guys for today only for today if you will see uh, drona class 10th enrollment if you will see guys so here you are getting 50 percentage off this is only for today this is only for today similarly for udan also right click buy now here also you'll be getting 50 percentage off right so you'll be getting it at around rupees 400 for grade 9 students and also if you want to go for cbse term to full syllabus for uh, uh this thing this is for the drona preparation right so you can see guys the prices have reduced a lot 50 percent off and that is only for today so go ahead and register for it all right so thank you so much guys for joining the session and i hope all of you enjoyed it please don't forget to like this video before you leave share the video with your friends and subscribe to this channel if you are new here i'll see you all in the next class till then bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye guys